Hi ho my flauchies, welcome to my new random furry facts. I know it's been a while since I presented my last random furry facts, but there's happened so much during my exams time that I need to talk with you about it. And this time I won't do it alone, I got a friend here called Taki. He's about to help me and, well, presenting two facts. So I hope you're having lots of fun watching this random furry facts video, so here we go! The first fact is about a girl called Ammer at Biggest Little Furcon. I know it's been a while, but I want to talk about it because I haven't had the chance yet. She's been there with the parents and kind of a tiger fursuit. I know it's not a real fursuit, but it's this kind of suit you can buy at Walmart, for example. This 20, 30, 40 dollar piece. And she was running around trying to have a really awesome time. There were two fursuiters who tried to bully her and she was really, 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 really sad. And although there were two other fursuiters who tried to make her feel better, it didn't help. She ran towards her mother and cried like, I never want to be a furry and stuff like that. And that's really, that's making me so sad that this had happened. As far as I know, her father didn't want to accept what happened, went to the con, to the photo shoot, wanted to talk in front of people and make a video about all this topic and that it can't be the truth that this really happened. Some first years noticed him and there was a really big discussion about what happened and a lot of furries, first years and furry artists tried to make this little girl called Emma feel better. And the result was that Emma received so much artwork and reference sheets of her tiger persona, so many positive comments and messages, so many pictures of people, furries, first years telling her, hey, you've done a good job, you're super, super cute, super awesome, please be a part of the furry fandom. And that's so valuable. Also some first years, for example Majera, took pictures with her and I hope, I do hope, that Emma feels much better now. Hi, I'm Taki and I'm presenting you the second fact, which is about a very nice, fluffy, but also squeaky creature called Puro. He's very known recently in the furry fandom, and that's because of the game Changed, which is currently on Steam, available for 5 euros. Long story short, the game is about a boy who wants to escape the facility and just had woken up in a laboratory. Meanwhile, he's just meeting a lot of latex-like creatures, which uh, resemble animals, like wolves or dolphins uh, for example and later uh, the protagonist comes to Puro which doesn't want to transform him but wants to help him out of the facility. Puro as itself is very educated because he have read a lot of books recently and also is able to understand and speak the human language. Just because of his appearance and how kind he is to the human he gained a lot of good feedback in the furry fandom and many people like to use him as an avatar or as their persona sometimes. You can assume that Puro or the species of Puro might become a new trend or species in the furry fandom and won't be a wonder if many more people are going to use him as their persona. Now we're going to talk about something bad, something I don't like and something that hopefully never happens in Germany. <laughs> it's about Artwork T and Foxler, what happened between these two parties. Foxler stole a kind of artwork for the t-shirts Artwork T is selling. This kind of fan shirts with Majira, Rika, Kothrix, Booker, every kind of furry. And well, what he did is he took the design and put his persona in the middle of the image and just claimed that it was his own. The problem is Artwork T didn't want to work together with Foxler because Foxler is kind of what people call a Nazi fur. Well, I do have another relation to Nazi furs because I'm a German person, but that's what people call him. And well, I can understand that they don't want to work with him. Additionally, he also produced kind of a t-shirt where you can see the design of Artrock T with Artrock T's image logo in the middle and butthurt having written above. What? This is so disrespectful and I can't imagine how angry Artwork T might have been. There was a really big Twitter discussion and Foxler behaved like... I don't even have words for it. He behaved like a really big idiot. Do you think it's okay to copy the design of a t-shirt and just use it for your own kind of t-shirts? Maybe if you do it just for yourself or if you want to sell them. Just vote up there if it's okay for you, if you think, okay, it could have happened or it is, it has happened and it's okay for you or if it's totally not okay and Foxler should definitely avoid that. 
You may have seen a lot of drama going on between Akeban and Odenwolf and just to recap what happened, Odenwolf had published a video on YouTube which was called How to tell if your friend is secretly a fairy in which he just uh, throw stuff into his bathtub, throw an axe and spoiled milk over it and just said well that's how you tell if your friend is secretly a fairy. So Akeban thought this is just clickbait. He didn't give any information that it could be maybe a parody of how to basics videos. So Akavan uh, made a video about how it could be for real that a friend is secretly a furry. A little bit later, after he published this video, Odenwolf reacted to it and just uh, thought it was a uh, parody about him and that Akaban is maybe a fan of him. After his reaction, Akaban made another video, which was kind of an answer to it. After that, there was still a lot of discussing problems and that Odenwolf didn't get what Akaban wanted to say and there is no end to see when it will end or when they will just hold hands and say we are cool. Last fact, some of you might the song from Drake, In My Feelings. Well, there's been kind of a trend in the media where people exit their car and start dancing towards a song with some specific moves with shaking their butt and everything. And fun fact, also some first years or two first years, I found two first years who started to do exactly the same in fursuit. Here is what I saw. I think it's really astonishing seeing that and I need to check Lind Love for about a few times when I saw it. Well, that was my kind of random furry facts video. I hope you like it. If so, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, share this video if you really like it. On the right, you can see my last random furry facts video and my latest video. I hope you're having a nice rest of the day, week or whenever you're watching this video. Stay possum and fluffy. Bye bye.